All right, I've been doing a little work on my car today and something I've been meaning to do for a while is change my wiper fluid. Um, all right, I've been doing some work on my car today and one of the things I've been meaning to do for a while is change my wiper fluid. So, do that with me here. So the first thing we need to do is pop the trunk. This process will work for basically any vehicle. It's super easy. Gonna look under the hood here. So we see the engine obviously, and we're gonna look for a sort of water tank or some sort of fixture that has this symbol on it. See, that's clearly wiper fluid. So we're gonna open that up. I've got a pitcher of water here that I've already had prepared. If you read online, and we'll see here, it's gonna pour this in. Whoop. So if you read online, uh, you'll see a lot of people that say not to use water, that it's not good for your car. Um, I don't know, I've been doing this for years because I never think about buying actual real wiper fluid when I'm at the store. It's always when I just need it at home and I'm just not thinking about it. Uh, one exception is if you live in a place where it does freeze. You definitely don't want to do this because the water will freeze and um, burst your lines or tanks or things like that. So I live in Southern California, it never gets below freezing and if it does it's only for a little bit. So I just use water. It doesn't clean as well as wiper fluid but it works uh, well enough to get the job done. So we just fill this up, completely up here. I think it holds about a gallon, at least in my car. There you go. And now, flip the lid back on, and you're good to go. If you're insistent, you could obviously use wiper fluid, but you can use water fine if freezing is not an issue for you. And, uh, sounds good.